everybody welcome back to the and tried to budget in this video we're gonna do a garden overview for 2024 this is basically what i'm planning on planting and then we'll see if i change my mind or not so let's start with tomatoes i'm planning on doing some roma some red cherry tomatoes and then a beefsteak tomato and i'm going to start my tomatoes I think I'm gonna do it on March 22nd. So, this will take about a week and a half to germinate. So that gives me six to eight weeks before my first, my last frost, which it's estimating about March 15th is kind of when I'm going by. And then for peppers, I'm gonna do jalapenos, California Wonderbell, and then the Sweet Keystone Giant. I'm gonna start them a little bit later on the third and something I learned this year is that the pep peppers do not like the cold. So you gotta wait until it warms up at least 50 degrees and it stays that way day and night, basically. Yeah, we don't really like, I don't like spicy things, but my parents don't really either. They like jalapenos, but that's about it. Then about trying getting some not jalapenos. They're basically jalapenos without the spice, but I think they like the spice a little bit. Onions. I was planning on starting some. I haven't decided yet. But I actually don't need to start them as early as I thought I did. So I'll start the Grand XL Hybrid on the 22nd because it take, has a longer growth period, 150 to 170 days. And I'll also start some Walla Walla onions. These are both really good uh, storage yellow onions. This one grows a little bit faster at 120 days so I'll start that on the 19th April 19th pumpkin I'm gonna do a mini harvest blend they're mini like orange spotted pumpkins I think they're gonna be really cute so I'm gonna start those on the 19th as well you can kind of ignore the direct seed because I highlighted some of these and then realized that I shouldn't so if it basically if it is highlighted and it has a date next to it ignore the highlight I'm gonna start them inside so herbs that I am going to direct seed are cilantro, dill, large leaf basil, and that's about it. These are I'm going to, I'm going to start in my green stock. I'm going to go some chives, oregano. I might try the chives in my green stock as well. Some rosemary. Those I'm going to start on the 22nd of March. For lettuces, I'm also going to do these in the green stock. I'm going to do some romaine. Some Bloopsdale spinach and red Russian kale. I want to get those used up. I'm going to start those on the 22nd as well. Cucumbers. I'm going to do some cucumbers this year. I'm going to do the Persian gherkin ones. I'm going to start those inside on the 19th. And then garden bush slicer also on the 19th. These ones I'm going to use for pickles and these are just from... I can't remember if these are small pickling ones as well or if they're just normal sized. I don't remember but I can always use both. Zucchini, I learned that my dad really likes zucchini bread. So I'm going to grow a couple plants of zucchini, start those on the 19th. And then I'm going to do some golden um, squash, golden summer um, crookneck squash. Start that on the 19th as well. I still want to try some squash. I've had it before, like in passing. So I want to see fried up and whatnot. Southern recipes, basically. I want to see if I like it. I'm going to grow... A little bit of spaghetti squash because I had a lot of spaghetti squash actually this past year. Not as many as I grew, but I had a bunch. So we actually really like spaghetti squash now. So I'm going to grow a plant or two. Get a few. I'm going to start those on the 22nd because they took forever to grow. So I'm hoping if I get the plants a little bit bigger and healthier when I plant them out that it won't take as long. We'll have to wait and see if that's how it works or not. <laughs> cantaloupe i'm gonna do hale's best jumbo this year watermelon i'm gonna do crimson sweet i'm gonna start those on the 22nd as well carrots it's better to direct seed carrots so i'm gonna do tender sweet as well as petite sweet i have a bunch of carrot seeds i want to use some of those as well for beans i'm gonna do the blue lake green beans and i am gonna try and um sow them every two weeks so I'll start some on inside on the 19th and then two weeks later I either might start them inside or I might when I plant them outside plant seeds outside as well next to it and then we get into flowers I'm gonna do some more dwarf sunflowers start those on the 19th 
Zinnia Double Scarlet. Probably going to direct seed those, yeah. Mix some flower seeds. I'm going to plant those in the very back, and I'm going to do the, um, start them on the 19th. Going to grow some milkweed for the butterflies, also on the 19th. Lavender, going to start that on the 22nd. And then I'm going to do a garden seed mix, a cut flower wild mix, and then I have a shade wildflower mix, so I might try and plant those just to see how they do. And I'll direct seed all of those. And we'll see how the season goes. Something I forgot to add on this list is I got some um, acorn squash seeds. They're on the way. I'll do a seed haul here in a few days. And I got some of those, so that's going to be added to this list because my mom really likes acorn squash, so I'm going to grow her some acorn squash this year. Okay. All right. So I think I'm going to still do weekly shout outs or one shout out per video. So I will put my shout out on the screen and link them down below. Please check them out. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.